This flight goes to Glitzville. You'll need a ticket to travel with us. Will we get that start? Oh yeah, 100%. Behind the store? I can't really, I mean, eventually, yeah, I'm going to grab it. I just can't get it now because I need uh, Admiral Bobbery to blow up the wall for me. And I get, and I don't have him as a companion until chapter five, I think, if I remember correctly. Yeah, yeah, I'm, uh, chapter five. of glitz and glory. This would be glitzful, all right. How do they make it float? It will stay floating, right? Yep. Time to hunt down that crystal star, huh, Mario? I know I'm ready. Sorry, Coops. Just gonna grab that real quick. I don't... I only did the dizzy dial for that one moment. I don't really need it. Okay. Mother three new porks. <laughs> uh, when is Nintendo ever going to bring Mother three over to the U.S.? What the fuck? So many missed opportunities with that, like bring... Because you realize how much money Nintendo could make when they, if they bring, uh, yeah, it has fran, yeah, it has fan translations. But you realize how much money Nintendo would be able to make if they brought freaking uh, Mother 3 out of Japan. Full version is on Snow Kido in English.
browser games are a W? Yeah, they are. Majority of the browser games are really good. It's just sad that some of them end up having their servers completely shut down at some point. Like, say for instance, uh, Pop Tropica. Because that was an iconic one for me growing up, playing Pop Tropica on the online. And then it just, its servers just got completely shut down at the end of last year. Stay down, Ben Christian. You don't want more of this. Why'd you even show up? Yeah, you hear me talking, Wimpy? Stay out of the ring or feel the burn, baby. Tell you what, do about a million push-ups and then comes the Uncle Rockhawk. I'll give you another world class spanking and send you crying home to mama again. Server shut down like that. No, like... Because TF2 is still tied to uh, Steam. So that one doesn't count. I'm talking about like actual web browser. Like if you go on Google... Like originally, like this was before I had Steam account. So I would go on Google Chrome, log on to Pop Tropica or Funbrain, like when I was growing up, and I know for a fact the Pop Tropica servers got shut down last year. Cause they just decided to end it. It would take a lot for Valve to shut down Team Fortress 2 or, like, just stop doing anything regards to that. You see that, Mario? The thing on that shiny belt. Is that a crystal star? Yeah, yeah, it's gotta be. That sparkle is a crystal star. Pop Tropica can just had to stop Tropica to start. It. I mean, if they start up the servers again, that'd be amazing. Or just like, or what? It's completely reboot it. Right. All I have to do is become champion. You'll get that belt fair and square. I guess we better get started. There must be a notice sign up somewhere. My time is getting upset. Let's find the guy in charge before I lose my nerve. What's that, bub? You want to become a fighter? Hmm. Well, if you're serious, you better go meet with Mr. Grubb at the promoter. Mr. Grubb's office is just down the hallway. You can't miss it. Get on through. Club Penguin? Yeah, I remember Club Penguin. Like, I remember it, I didn't get the chance to play it much because I would always play Pop Tropica or Fun Ring. But I've seen people, uh, I've seen some people that are still playing Fun, uh, Club Penguin, but it's on like private servers that they have. Who in tarnation are you, son? And who lets you in? This is Grubba's office. Yep, yeah, that's me, Grubba. And you? You're one rude dude coming in without knocking. What now? An athlete, huh? You want to be a fighter? Oh, yeah. That dude changed a thing or two, son. I always got time for an up and coming. Yep, this place is packed to the gills with young fighters, all primed and raring to go. I gotta say, son, you're a bit skinny for my tastes, but I'm willing to give you a shot. No, play me straight, son. You want to live the glamorous life of a champ, don't you? Uh, not particularly. All right, all right, son. I hear where you come from, son, loud and clear. Grubba gets his name from somewhere. I don't know, actually. Well, 
When I was just a poor pup, I didn't give a pokey's patoot for fancy big city ways. But I jumped into the world of martial arts and fought my way to fame and riches. And know what I realized? Being rich and famous is digging a dang dynamite. Now, I can't mix it up in the ring no more, but I earned enough to set me for life. You read him here? You read me here, son? Dreams do come true, even if they ain't yours exactly. Yep, that's the key, son. Dream big and you'll get big. That's the winner's way. And when you make it big, you look back at all those small dreamers and laugh. You read me here, son? That's the spirit chief. Here, let's have a little walk and talk. Come on now. Now, how do you like this, bard? Just feast your eyes. Go on. This is the champion's room. Isn't it a sad? Deluxe. You become champ, son, and you get the key to this room. That ain't all, of course. That's on top of the big money and screaming fans. Yeah, no doubt about it, son. Apply yourself in a life of wealth and comfort awaits. Now, uh, here we have the Major League Locker Room. A lot of contenders here. What do you think, son? Huh? Not exactly glamorous, but it's clean and comfortable. Totally sanitary, too. Maybe I'm old-fashioned, but I care about my fighters. Darn it. Is that a Game Boy Advance? Yes, that is a Game Boy Advance on the wall. Just wait until it, I freaking start up. Now... I'm sure you know this already, son, but there ain't but one world champion. Clawing your way to the top and taking the belt to become champ ain't an easy thing. Well, that's the point, son. Won't be worth it if there weren't no challenge. I can see you got the fire for it, too, pard. You got the eye of the tiger there. Okay. I had one and an advanced SP. I remember having an advanced SP like back when I was like five years old. After that, I got the DS Lite. Then me and my, then after that, me and my sisters got the DSi, and then I got my 3DS. I still have my Nintendo 3DS to this day. It's over there on the couch. Oh, hey, one other thing. You gotta sign an itty bitty contract to be a fighter. It ain't no thing. Just take a second or two of your time. Just jot your name here, okay? Sign the contract. Best thing you ever done, son. Now, in Mario? It ain't a bad handle. Still, I gotta say, part, it lacks a little punch as a fighter's name. Get me? Let me see here. Bam! I got it. For now on, you're gonna be the Great Gonzalez. Whew, ain't that a beaut? Dang, if that ain't a stroke of genius. A name that good comes around once in a lifetime. Yep, everyone will soon bow before the Great Gonzalez. Make me proud, son. Hmm. Well, now that we got the business side out of the way, Jolene? Could you come in a minute, darling? Yes, sir? You wish to see me? Chardin, hun. Jolene, this is the Great Gonzalez, our newest rising star. Get Peach and take him on down to the minor league locker room, alrighty? Right away, sir. Mr. Gonzalez, if you would be so kind, please follow me.
As you know, you are a contracted fighter now, so you must, by, must abide by some rules. First and foremost, what Mr. Grubba says goes. Period. You must do what he says. Also, as per your contract, you cannot quit until Mr. Grubba releases you. There are many other small guidelines that I will explain as they become relevant. Here we are. This is your locker room. You're starting in the minor league, of course, as you've just now started your career. If you don't like this dingy room, I suggest you work your way up through the ranks. When you're ready to fight, you just log on to this computer terminal here. Mr. Grabo will then decide who you'll match up against. You'll have n n you'll have no say in this. Why don't you try it once? Walk up to the screen and log on with it. We pick ranked match. Hey Sundancer, you're still here, right? You still okay? <laughs> yeah, because this is nostal. This would be nostalgic for you. You have no way to come. Just hurt. I hit the button on the freaking computer, and it does the old school Game Boy Advance sound. Well, howdy, Gonzalez. Ready to get your fist dirty, huh? There you go, son. I got a trick for you. Your first battle is going to be against the Goomba Brothers. Don't you worry about them. They'll be a piece of cake. Just mop them up, okay, son? Hey, we're going to get everyone fired up, though, so appeal to the crowd at least once. You got any questions about detailed rules? Just ask the lovely Miss Jolene. Okay, son? Well, good luck, pard. Battle is reserved. At this point, you just wait until security comes for you. Fighting is pretty basic. The team that drops the opponent's HP to zero first wins. Simply winning is not enough. When Mr. Grubber sets fighting conditions, follow them. In this case, the condition is to appeal to the crowd at least once. Fairly easy. If you satisfy the condition and win, you can battle a higher ranked opponent next. If you lose the match or don't satisfy the condition, your rank will stay the same. If you can get your rank up to 11, you'll get a shot at the Major League. That's about all you need to know for now. Did you understand that? Yep. Okay, good. For now, just wait. Just wait until security comes to get free, Mr. Gonzalez. You may not leave the room without a security escort. Alright, fine. There we go. Gonzalez, match time. Follow me, bub. Into the ring. Try not to get completely destroyed out there. Wow. Oh. <laughs> I was wondering my why my freaking arm was uh, hurting a little bit. Oh, wow. Oh, Jesus. I think I remember what those are from. Fold them like, uh... In, uh... Hmm. Dang, fight fans! There's the Greg Zones now, striding on up. Tell you, 
I tell you, this rookie's got some guts strolling up late like he owns the place. Whew! Okay, now, let's listen to him. Let me just explain the rules on the match real quick. Hey, bonk, punk. Hey! Fuck you. Hey, that's no fair. You can't attack before the bell rings. That's cheating. Come on, Mario. We can't let a bunch of cheaters beat us. I quit crying, will you? That was just a little welcome gift for the rookie. Where's our thank you? Alright, fine. So I need appeal at least once. And then multi bounce. Illegal maneuver. <laughs> yep. Thomason, what was that? What was this first taste of victory like? That fight? What a joke. Listen to this guy. He's like a poet of the arena. I tell you what I just saw, folks. A whooping. This kid's got skills. We got ourselves a new hero. Let's hear it for him, folks. Yeah, the great Gonzalez. Not too shabby for our first fact, Gonzalez. You got some promise. Anyways, we'll be hitting that now. Go and get your fat money from Jolene. Here's your fat money, five coins, Mr. Gonzalez. Rose to 19. This fight will not be set up until you select ranked match on the terminal. Well, check your current ranking on the terminal screen. Feel free to do whatever you like until your next fight. Have a nice day, Mr. Gonzalez. I'm King K, just a Bush League scrub like you. I'm gonna meet you, man. You look like a stand up dude. I think I can hang with you. Hey, so why don't you meet the gang, huh? This guy here is Master Crash. Nice to meet you, Bomb! Now that we've gotten to know each other, I will give you advice. Bomb! As Miss Jolene was saying, you better bomb obey Mr. Grubble's conditions. If you can't clear the conditions and win your rank. If you can't clear the conditions and win, your rank will go up even if you win the match. Bomb! Yeah, my man has, you know, some quirky speech going on, but his advice holds up most of the time. That's just sometimes bomb. Advice is always useful. Bomb bomb.
Right, man. Whatever. Anyway, this lean machine over here is bandy handy. Hey, nice to meet you. I'm not in here too often, but if you see me around, say hi. Oh yeah, if you sleep in the bed over there, your HP and FP will fully recover. It's not like the cushy bed in the champ's room, though. It doesn't refill star power. Okay, cool. And this last guy with the sweet purple kicks is known as Cliffdor. Gurk. Cliff don't know like make friend with mustache. Easy there, Cliff man. He isn't the friendliest guy, but you get used to him. Anyway, that's the core minor league crew. You need something? Ask us. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. You and me are gonna have to square off eventually, so good luck, man. Alright, scrolling through Twitter for a second. I'm sorry, one more time. One more time, I, I, I need to hear it one more time. Ah, oh, the old school GBA sound. miss playing Game Boy Advance. And before anyone says anything, no, I don't have the expansion pass for the Nintendo Switch Online. So I don't have the Game Boy Advance, I don't have the Genesis or N64. N yeah, nostalgia, big time, yeah. The next opponent will be ranked 18... It's very nostalgic, but for me, like, because I only had the Game Boy Advance for maybe two or three years, and then after that, I just stuck to the DSs. I feel like for me personally, the DSs are a lot more nostalgic for me. It's a good thing my uh, 3DS over there is still working. From the era of Pokemon Red, Blue, Yellow. Mmm. Don't even get me started. You know, it's funny, uh, it's funny though, Sundancer, because one of my, uh, buddies on Discord, he was saying he wants to try to get into Pokemon. What's a good Pokemon, uh, part of the series to get into? I literally told him he has to go online and find the Nintendo DS Lite. And then he has to get one of each gener- like, one of each generation, so like, uh, like in some way that can be played on the DS Lite. So you have like Fire Red, Leaf Green, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, Black and White versions 1 and 2. Because, yeah, suggest Fire, Pokemon Fire Red, yes. Because at least, at least one version of each kind. So we're talking about the uh, generations 1 or Pokemon Silver or Sapphire? Uh, I mean, those are Game Boy Color. I don't think those are able to be played on the DS Lite, if I remember correctly. I might be wrong. But if they are able to be played on... Yeah, Fire Red Kanto, and then uh, Heart Gold Soul Silver for uh, Johto. Then you have Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, Hoenn, Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, Sinnoh, then Black and White versions 1 and 2 for Unibo. I just feel like... <clears throat> like, Pokemon was at its best when... Okay, I see the question mark on that. And Pokemon Sapphire, whatever, had Kyogre. Yeah, Sapphire was Kyogre. Uh... Yeah, Silver was Johto, and I see the question mark. That is the correct way to spell Johto.
And then, yeah. Yeah, Pokemon used to be on Earth, yeah. Mm -hmm. And also, like, the... Oh, did I do it on the freaking Koopa again? Damn it! I meant to do it on the Paracoopa. Fuck. Yet the, uh, as in Game 1, they specifically mentioned China in Arcanine's Law. Really? Forgot about that. Jesus Christ. Because I remember, uh... Like... It's just my personal opinion, like, Generations 1 through 5 were the best ones, and then 6 was A, eh, mainly because of Team Flare, and then it just slowly started going downhill. Giovanni is a good Pokemon villain? Yes. Because, like, Giovanni was one of the best Pokemon villains ever, besides Skeksis. Because, first off, Giovanni is the original Pokemon villain. He was very threatening. I just personally prefer his original version over the, uh, I, I can't, it's been a while since I've done it, but in Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, they had uh, a post-game thing with Team Rainbow Rocket, where Giovanni teamed up with all of the other team leaders up until that point. Like, he teamed up with Archie of Aqua, Maxi, uh, Maxi of Magma, Cyrus of Galactic, Gets of Plasma, and then Lysander of Flare. Yeah, because, like I said, uh, Giovanni, up until Getsis, all those villains were taken seriously. Lysander, up until now, they're just pure goofiness. I mean, Lysander had a legitimate goal with it, but I feel like he was shown too much during the story to, like, people found out, like, I feel like people figured out he was going to be the main villain regardless, and just the anticipation wasn't there anymore. Let's admit though, Team Rocket must be stronger than the military. Oh, 100%. How many times should Jesse and James have died or something but didn't and come back swinging? Yeah, Jesse and James were headstrong. Also, Bob, hey, what's going on? I uh, also didn't pay attention to what the win condition for uh, this match is. They came back with mechs, time travel, nukes, etc. Justin James would have, wouldn't have died. 
the Wobbuffet would have used protect. Yeah. Wobbuffet, st <laughs> Wobbuffet stopped Kieran's moves. Yeah. That was a, like, because Wobbuffet can easily learn Mirror Coat and Counter, if I remember correctly. Go ahead, touch us. It won't hurt. Too much. Don't use items? Oh, wow. Okay, so no items. Alright. Four, three, and zero. Oh, wait a second. Loophole. He says I can't use items. He didn't say anything about special moves. Let's go. Easy win. Missed it. Oh well. I think that's enough to kill him. Yep. <laughs> we got a social winner, the Great Gonzalez. Wobbuffet is easily one of the best uh special defensive Pokemon I've ever seen. Because that sucker is a tank. So, on the re- oh. Pokemon stats make no sense. Sometimes. It just depends on their, uh, nature and the specific, what are they called, the IVs and the EVs that they have. There's a literal oyster with more defense than... Almighty Legendary slower than Fat Cat. Well, I know there are some... There are some Legendaries who are super quick, and then there's some Legendaries who are slow as fuck. Say, for instance, if you're not playing Legends Arceus, Regigigas. That sucker is a tank, but he's slow for the first five turns. Octopus that does million- Oh, you're talking about Graplocked? Oh shit. Or are you talking about Octillery? Google that one. Wait, whichever the yellow one with the red shell?
See, you say yellow Pokemon with a red shell. The first thing that comes to my mind is Turtonator, but that's not a octopus, is it? Hold on for a second. Uh, I mean, the closest thing I can see is, like, the shiny, uh, I mean, it would be Graplock, but it's a shiny version, because the regular version of Graplock is black with the blue mask, but the shiny version's yellow with the red mask. But I don't think that's the one that you're talking about. Hmm. Listen, now listen, son, in this battle, I want you to avoid using any of them that were special moves. No, he's not them. Yeah, because I don't... I don't know. You know it's a water type. Not from, yeah, not from Gen 1. Uh, I mean, the first yellow octopus that comes to my mind is the shiny octillery, but it doesn't have a red shell on it. I'm trying to think. Huh. The Goofy Noodle Boy? Now you got me confused. One suggestion? What is it? What's the suggestion, Bob? You cut your streams into videos which will attract a lot of people. I mean, I technically somewhat did do that i mean uh because if you noticed i did uh like the prologue and then chapter one into three different videos because it's like the full prologue first half of chapter one and then the first half of chapter uh the second half of chapter one but if i need to make them like smaller to like maybe an hour long each at mo like like then i could end up doing that I just need to find a specific cutoff point between chapters as well. More, more than likely, uh, I think the specific cutoff point between chapters would have to start being like right after I put the crystal stars on the door. You got a Discord? I do have a Discord, yeah. I just don't have a Discord server, like a uh, personal Discord server. Send you a clip as a memo. Okay. No, uh, I don't know. Oh, shit.
Whoa, sounds like some poor sucker just earned himself a trip to the hospital. Hey man, this is a brutal sport sometimes, you know? This stuff happens. Actually, no, I got plenty of FP, I'm fine. I mean, if you want, you can, uh... If the clip has a link to it, you can post it in the chat and I can save it for later. Next point will be... 15 in the glitch pit, Spike Storm. I want you to wrap it up in five turns or less. I got a date with my best gal in just a few and I don't want to be late. Also, when you have some time, check out this guy called Small Ant. I think that name rings a bell. Hold on for a second. Uh, try next stream? Okay. Five turns on this. Oh. Okay, yeah, I do know this. Okay. I do know this one. Uh, I do... He does streams and makes into small video. Yeah, yeah. Because, uh... He... I've seen maybe one or two of his videos when he was doing like a modded speed run with some of his friends. I, like, uh, Alpha Rad, Ludwig, and all of them. Right now I gotta deal with the freaking spinies and the uh, like two. Okay. Let's put Goombella first so I can. Tattle on the Lakitu. Five, two, and zero. Okay, so spin jump first. There's also the fact that uh, at some point I need to like go through all of my old videos in like if I f find the specific clip that I think is the best, I should just take that specific clip and turn it into like a short, if that makes sense. One more thing on the remake, any, any questions? Uh, I don't have, I don't have any questions about the remake or anything. Because I, I know, uh, you're potentially still working on it, so that's fine. Max HP is 3, attack is 3, defense is 3. Such high defense that you can't even hurt them when they roll up. So when they go back to normal, do all the damage you can and do it quickly. If you flip them over, their defense drops to 0, that's the time to take them out. Jumping on them is just plain stupid, so try using the power block or some other item. Don't worry, I got you. Well, I guess for right now I'll just appeal to the crowd. Do a quake hammer. But yeah, I don't have any questions. Uh, yeah, I don't have any questions about the potential remake. So if you need to go to sleep, Bob, then go to sleep.
Now if you'll excuse me, I must be going. Hey man, check this. I heard the hot dog stand outside is getting a new menu item that uses a mystic egg. Did you know your hot dogs can restore your HP and FP during a match? That's some serious nutrition. I'm not sponsored yet. I'm just excited about some probably amazing hot dogs. You want a snack out on them? Speaking of which, there is one hot dog sitting outside in the hall. So I'll go grab that hot dog. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggy the dog. I have 12 items? Okay, so I have enough room for this. <laughs> Oi. Let's keep fighting. Cause it's the eye of the tiger, it's the thrill of the fight. Rising up to the challenge of our rival. I can't remember the lyrics. This <laughs> opponent will be rank 14 in the glitch pit. I hand it over. Listen, son. And his mouth. I want you to avoid using any of them, there are flower points. Oh my god. Yeah, you heard me. See how you do without none of them fancy pants moves. Now get in there and show me something, son. Oh god. No flower points? Oh fuck's sake. Mm. Actually, while the match starts, I'm gonna throw my trash away and also refill my cup. You found it. Shuckle! That's what it was! Oh my god! I don't know why I. I completely forgot about Shuckle! Yeah, with literal millions of dead. Oh my god! I forgot about Shuckle. Shuckle has some crazy defense on it. Especially considering, like, in Pokemon Go. Uh, my roommate once tried to do a five-star shuckle raid on his own. Timer went down and he barely took down, like, 1% of shuckle's HP. The Grim Death Burglars fight with the Handed Overs. Oh, these guys. Oh, God. Just scroll through the entire Pokedex alphabetically for it. BRB with the code. Oh yeah, there was also uh, the fact that uh, you thought it was a water type. I think Shuckle's just a regular bug rock. Five, two, zero. Either way, his damage is this. 721,899,013. What the fuck? Like, he's able to deal that much damage? Or that's how much he's able to take?
Ich. He can do that. A different Pokemon can take a theoretically infinite damage though, and I think it's Riolu or something. Hmm. Interesting. Not Shuckle. Yeah. Because I know for a fact, uh... Shit. Because I know for a fact Shuckle's defense is crazy high sometimes. Oh, that guy just left. You kind of screwed yourselves over because your buddy ran out on you. Stealing my coin. Well, I get my coin back plus some, so it's fine. Fight money of 10 coins. Okay. You're the latest G-Man? My boy said they saw a stunning babe having a juice at the fresh juice shop. She likes juice, I like juice. We already have so much in common. Check her out for me, man. I know which girl he's talking about. I know exactly which one. Alright, I'm gonna be right back. I need to use the restroom again. <laughs> 